I bid you welcome to my sky fortress, the Bahamut. I must apologize for my delay in welcoming you aboard my ship. Permit me to ask... Who are you? An angel of vengeance? Or perchance a saint of salvation? I am simply myself. No more and no less. And I want only to be free. Such a woman is not fit to bear the burden of rule. Weep for Dalmasca, for she is lost. Observe well, Larsa. Watch and mark you, the suffering of one who must rule, yet lacks the power. No. No, brother. I will not. Though I lack your power, I will still persist. <laughs> Bold words, child. Boss battle time, we're taking on Vayne. Now this guy is going to, uh, we've got actually got Larsa's help during this fight. Now Larsa's, Larsa has come a quite a long way since we first encountered him, encountered him back in Verjuba. He's no longer so, uh, hold on. Your lives are forfeit and your insurgents with them. Dalmasca will again know order. For good and all, I shall bring your futile attempts at rebellion to an end. When we first encountered Larsa, he was very much on the in the belief that his family, his what side, the Arcadian Empire was definitely in the more right. Like, he thought that, I mean, they were invading other countries, but they were doing it for a greater good and all that kind of stuff. And he would have stood by whatever decision Bane had. But upon seeing things from a different perspective, he started to have a different thought about that. And he started, in a certain way, trying to undermine what Vayne was trying to do, such as getting Ash to try and reclaim her throne and basically surrender to the Empire instead of uh, backing this rebellion that's going on right now. And his idea was, uh, I know Vayne will do some horrible shit, give him the chance. So you gotta not give him the chance. But still, I mean, he's definitely not... He, he's definitely not up to the point that he is now. And now he's drawn his sword trying to, uh... Trying to stop Vayne directly. Now, Vayne is a fairly tough fellow. In fact, I'd be doing myself a favor by throwing Protect up. Yeah, there we go. And even uh, Larsa got project uh, protected there. And let's get all the cures up. Just so we don't have any trouble with the rest of this fight. He's not really any more difficult to beat than Gabranth was a minute ago, but we do have Larsa's help. Even though Larsa isn't really doing a whole hell of a lot to help us out right now.
Manufactured nethersite. I will defend Lord Larsa. The hound strays. Treason bears a price. One I gladly pay. Okay, we have another boss battle. This time, Judge Gabranth, Noah, is going to be helping us out. And Vane has gotten himself beefed up. Vane Novus. Now, I'm going to be taking out the various swords that are surrounding him first, because they're going to be helping him out during the battle. And, well, that's going to be a pain in the ass if I do nothing about that. So I'm going to be throwing Shell up. I'm also going to be casting Haste. And, crap, I don't have the spell on Bosch. Maybe I can cast, hmm, hold on, maybe I, uh, okay, I'll go shell with him, and you will cast a spell. I gotta make sure it hits Vayne, because he's the one I wanted to spell. He has haste cast on himself. Now all my characters are buffed up. I'm going to be focusing on the swords. Now they have an H. They have a. I don't know, it's maybe like 10,000 HP or so. Ah, targeted vein. <laughs> I'm going to go from A down through D because I want to keep track of the ones I'm damaging. It can be a little difficult to catch up with. I guess it would be a better idea if I were to carry someone around with who had a, um, who had a ranged attack. Also, these things are weak against various elements, like, uh, where, uh, that one's gotta be lightning, so, I don't know, I guess water would've been a good idea to damage that one, but I don't have any powerful water attacks, so I'm not gonna be doing that. They're trying to take on Vayne, I'm trying to take out the swords. The Branth will just target whoever the hell he feels like. Okay, the first one is down. C? What is... Which one is C? What does that look like to you? Does that look like ice? Yeah. So if I were to throw... Throw fire attacks at it, I'd be able to do some damage there. Now, I guess since our last battle, the Branth has decided to ch has had a bit of a change in heart, and he's going and um, he's helping us out here. But I mean, I, I don't, I, I think he knows what fate awaits him if he does what he's doing here. Okay, two of them are down. Once you take out these swords, taking out veins can be much easier. Because, I mean, they're just attacking on the side and having a hard enough time keeping our attacks up when this... Uh, keeping our characters healed when we have a bunch of different extra enemies trying to attack us. We have three of them down, though, so it's working out pretty well. And down that one goes. Oh wait, is that all of them? That's not all of them, there's one left. 
Oh, I guess it was all of them. Okay, everybody just gang up on Vane and kick the shit out of him. Ivelisse will know a new dynast king, and man will keep his own history. The tyranny of the gods is ended. We are their puppets no more. The freedom for which we have longed is at hand. Using the power of the deifacted Nethys, uh, not the deifacted Nethys, like the manufactured Nethys, he has gained some pretty significant power here. And it seems as though, I mean, his... Even though he's working for one of the Akure, he's working for Venom, one of the sort of uh, gods of this world, it seems to be with the intention of shaking off their shackles. I mean, even a benevolent god is one that is still has control over you, and he's trying to get rid of that control, no matter, regardless of what you may think of his uh, of his goals. Can't be any real argument that what he's trying to do is pretty freaking. What he's doing is a. Uh, uh, or the way he's doing it is very violent, very brutal, and it's going to be killing a lot of people. Gaining the power of the Sun Christ and using it to give himself power, and basically taking over the world in the process. It's not like this guy Sephiroth or anything where he's trying to destroy the world. He is trying to rule over it, but it's... He's definitely not doing anything good, and I don't think there's too many people out there who would argue that he has any sort of true moral right in this decision. He's almost dead. We've got him. Vaughn, just kick his ass. Even though we've taken out the Seraph Swords, the his special attacks still utilize them. So destroying them doesn't stop this from happening. He's still capable of putting on a hurting. Ooh, limit break. That doesn't sound good. Kick him, kill him quick. Only a couple more hits. And he's down. Hmm. <sighs> 